Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, joined by Shaka Hislop and Casey Keller. What about this for a set, boys? <laughs> and I promise you, this isn't another example of how small I am. It is actually that big. <laughs> Take Shaka as a reference. You're wondering why we're here? Well, because Don Hutchison's in Connecticut. We had to get out. We welcome to the program as well. Uh, Don joined us as well from a dingy hotel room. Uh, Frank LeBeuf as well from France uh, with us. Uh, lots to talk about, of course, uh, throughout the show. We'll kick things off with Manchester. Manchester City, a busy 24 hours for them. It looks like we've discussed it a lot, haven't we, of late? The possibility of Vardiol making that move from the Bundesliga to Manchester City. Reports are suggesting it's on the brink of being done. Over 100 million euros is the fee that has been cited. Meanwhile, Riyad Mahrez on the brink of signing for the Saudi Arabian League. It looks like the 32-year-old is leaving Manchester City. Uh, let's start, shall we, with Vardy. Oh, Casey, you've seen a lot of him uh, in Germany. You look at that figure and you think 100 million, that is a lot of money. Is he worth it? I mean, he's young. He's obviously a very talented player, but he, he doesn't seem like that player that you would think would be a 100 million euro player, uh, a very... Uh, tricky player, a player that, you know, is going to win you games. I think he's a good defender, that, and I don't, I don't really – there's nothing that – there's not that one thing that stands out to me after watching him mm. play, Shaka, that is like, okay, this is what you can bank on. He's the fastest player in the league. He's mm -hmm. the strongest player in the league. He's a one-on-one -on -one best defender. Like, I think he's just a really good player, but what's that one thing that stands out that makes you a hundred million player, or is it just a case that – 100 million isn't what 100 million used to be. Well, I, I think that's that's partly to do with it. I, I've said a long time ago, I'm, I'm kind of done commenting on, on transfer fees. All right, Shaq, I was just no, asking the question. No, I'm just, 100 million is a lot of money. No, but I, I say that to make the point that none of it really makes sense. But even so, 100 million, you're thinking you spend that money on goal scorers. You spend that money at the top end of the park. Um, and, and you're right, Casey, you, you now start the question exactly what is Guardiol, what makes him so special as a defender to be worth 100 million. 21 years old, OK, that, that is young as, 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 as a centre-back, as anybody coming, coming to, 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 to this league. But still, is that reason enough to spend that kind of money? Are you going to get it back at, at any point in, in, in the future? Um, it... it, it again, just continues continues to be amused. Or, or is it now just the case if Man City's involved in anything? Well, I think that... that no, no, but we saw, I think seen that, them walk away, Harry Maguire. They walked away from because yeah. the price is too much. They're not but afraid, But he's not 21. I mean, so at least if they're saying we're going to spend a bunch of money for somebody that's going to be with us potentially for 10-plus years, I, I, OK, but you're still thinking, wow, what, you know, the, what is that thing that makes you worth that the, the one thing you will say is that in in the past when yes i think there is a man city tax if you want to call it that at, at times even when you've questioned the the, the price at, at the time of the sale um it, it's 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 worked out maybe because of how just transfer fees have have inflated first that comes to mind kyle walker when when he signed i think it was 50 million everyone was like 50 million for a right back but then given his service to the club everything that they've won uh, and the way that transfer fees have, have escalated in, in the year since, that doesn't look like mon money poorly spent at all. It looks like money very well spent. So maybe in five or six years' time, we look back on this and, and say, well, yeah, there you go, City have done it again. But as of right now, I'm, I, I'm just still but, bemused. But the difference with Kyle Walker is you can say, it's here's kind of arguably the fastest guy in the league, or at least right there, mm -hmm. and you know that he's going to be able to... If, 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 if the marquee player on that side is now he's man-marking, you know that guy's going to have a difficult day. I'm not so sure this is going to be the case. Uh, Frank, looking at it overall, away from, the, okay, away from the price tag, yeah? Looking at the fact that this is a player who has played for Leipzig, done very well, did very well in the World Cup as well, is now going up a level, huge level to Manchester City. That price tag means he'll be under the spotlight even more. How difficult is that transition to make? <laughs> It's, it's a big bet uh, from the club, but it's also a bet from the player because, yeah, the pressure is huge. We saw Jack Grealish uh, struggling last season, and uh, he knows the Premier League, uh, he knew the Premier League, and, uh, but he still had to adapt to another level, as you said. Uh, no doubt that Guardiola has the talent to, uh, to step up and to, and, to, and to show to the world that he's worth 
if we can say that, the 100 million and uh, at least signing for Manchester City. Um, it doesn't make any sense for anybody. Um, and the player shouldn't feel, you know, over pressured by the price. We saw Anthony Martial, we saw Mudric, we saw Grealish again, as I said just before. Uh, we saw a Maguire. And uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense because nobody worth 100 million. And so nobody should be over pressured by the, the price tag. But it is what it is. It's the new world. And uh, if Guardiola wants you and is ready to ask for the clubs to pay 100 million, it, because he knows that he's going to use you and you're going to. You, 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 you're worth it, and you're going to be used by, uh, by the guy. It's what I like about the, the, that sport, is you have one club, Bayern Munich, is still wondering if he can give 100 million for Harry Kane, the best striker right now, I think, in the world, uh, where they were ready to pay Hernandez, the French left-back, 80 million. So the world is getting crazy. Uh, football players shouldn't go crazy, because it doesn't make any sense again. Don, someone paid 7.5 million for you. Blurmin, eh? We thought it was an inflated market now. <laughs> Dog. Listen, I, 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 go, I, I look at it from a different angle. I don't think there's a player you feel pressure. I, I, think, I think it's a massive compliment when someone pays that amount of money for you. And I think if you only got to look back, I think six months, I think Ruben Diaz had a fallout with Guardiola. Imeric Laporte hasn't really been fit. So you just wonder if Guardiola's got a plan in terms of selling one or two players on, then all of a sudden that 100 million comes down to whatever the number might be. If he brings 50 million pounds, then 50 million from Guardiola is a steal at 21. He's got good potential. He's a ball playing centre back, which obviously Guardiola will like. I, I, I go the opposite, I think, to, to a few of the boys. I think he's a real talent. Uh, meanwhile, Don, they're going to get some of that money back, aren't they, through Riyad Mahrez. A mistake to let him go? Uh, not really. I don't think he's just featured as much um, as he would want. Um, I, I think he's a fantastic player. Velcro feet, when the ball goes to him, it sticks. And he's got tricks, he's got goals in him. He's, he's a match winner. But I think as a player, you want to play. And, and it's all right winning championships and winning the treble. But when you're not really, it doesn't feel like you're a big part of it. It can sort of feel a little bit empty. So Riyad Mahrez is thinking, well, why don't I cash in? Why don't I go and try, try and earn a lot of money? He's going to obviously do that. Uh, City fans, I think, will miss them a little bit because I think he's a little bit of a cult hero there. So he'll be a miss in terms of his, of his talent. But if you're not playing, then it might be worth the manager, the player, looking at it and think it's time to move. Of course, it's uh, one of two 30 year olds that's left uh, along with Gundogan as well, Don. Have they got better or worse in this transfer market? Well, Gundogan's one of my favourite players, Dan. So I'd have to say they've got worse. But at the same time, they've got a real player in Kovacic from Chelsea. So listen, I I'd, never, I'd never bet against. He moves players on. There's a reason why, because either they're not playing, he's got a human side to him. At the same time, he casts players away that he thinks he can improve on. He'd done the same with uh, Zinchenko when he got Akanji in. He'd done the same with Jesus when he got Haaland in. So, listen, I wouldn't bet against Guardiola. Be, I think there'll be more moves to come, I think, from Man City in the coming weeks. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.